is is Pompey the pumpkin. Pompey. We've had it for so long, we named it. <laughs> Do you want to see how he's doing? Here you go. We had this. We I bought this in the beginning of October last year. Of course, last year. I mean, what October would I be talking about? So, this is the pumpkin that I bought uh, before Halloween, and we just never carved it. I set it on my chair here. Whoops, sorry. Sorry. I set it on my. I set it on my chair here, and thought that I would I would show you guys my my experience what I'm dealing with and maybe you can start taking bats <laughs> kind of funny let's see let's take the charger out of my phone there we go I can show you guys that's Pompey like I said we've had him for so long we named him um I just set him down on that stoop there my house is cool I keep it at like 18 degrees celsius um, yeah, I work in Celsius, even though I'm an American in Alaska, we do things a bit different here in Alaska. So, you hear it? There's not a mushy part about it. Not a mushy bit. Isn't that cool? I don't know how long these things last. Uh... But it just sort of became like a personal, um, like a, like a personal thing where I, I was like, well, Pompey, we're going to keep you around for as long as possible. We're going to keep you around for as long as possible. I don't know how long pumpkins last. And we're coming out of the, uh, we're coming out of the, the cold season. It was a uh, equinox just the other day. So congratulations. Happy spring, everyone. It's finally spring. Uh, things are starting to melt outside here in Alaska. Um, but Pompey is still here. I don't know. How long do you think these things last? I don't know. I was thinking about sewing through its stem, wrapping it up and hanging it to keep the weight off the bottom here, but it doesn't seem you know, that doesn't seem to be affecting it at all. You can see the bottom. You can see where it sat. Isn't that cool? I didn't know the pumpkins would last this long, but they last all the way through the winter. So, uh, it sat right here on this step. The bottom step to my house. That's where it sat. There's the cat door there. It stays kind of cool, but I covered that up for most of the winter. I only un unblock that when it starts near and above freezing. So, but that's where it sat, just right there. Occasionally, I'll pick it up and turn it, make sure it's okay, make sure it's still fine. And it, there's, it still is, I hesitate to say fresh, but I mean, I guess that's the word for it. Still as fresh as the day I bought it. I don't know what it looks like on the inside, but the outside is, you heard it. You heard it, right? It's perfect. It's perfect. How long have you kept a pumpkin? Did you know that pumpkins could last that long? So what is it? October? October, because I bought it in like the very beginning of October. October, November, December, January, February. Now it's March. It's nearing the end of March. It's almost six months that that pumpkin has survived on that step. <laughs> and it's in that condition. I worry about it as the temperatures get higher and higher. I worry about it, but... We'll see. This is sort of like a thing that my daughter, my daughter's 10 years old. And I think it's a cool experience for her to learn how to, and myself as well, to learn food storage. Learn, wow, I, I didn't know that that could happen. That's perfectly fine. Man, it's a, it's a gourd life we're living here. Isn't it? <laughs> that was so stupid. I apologize for that one.